I've been having weird dreams lately. I've been like like having nightmares and like just feeling weird. It happened this morning, and I think it's happening every night. I don't know if it's because I'm taking too much melatonin or what the deal is. I'm convinced my, my place of residence is haunted, which is kind of crappy because I live in an apartment. That's gonna suck if you're a ghost and you're you're, like, you're gonna haunt somebody. Like you at least want to haunt a house. Your 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 total square footage is like 1,300 square feet of where you can haunt. I don't know what's going on. I know this area is kind of historic. It's a fairly new building. No, I don't want to. If there's any ghosts in here right now, okay, I'm talking to you, whoever's been haunting me in this this dwelling. All right, I'm sorry I made fun of the fact that you're haunting an apartment, but. If you're haunting me right now, do not ever reveal yourself. I don't want to see that shit, okay? All right? Taps to investigate. What's that? Is that a ghost hunting uh like organization? There's a there's ghost hunters in uh Providence, Rhode Island, which isn't too far from me. And they had a uh, like tryouts or whatever, or you could apply to become one of them. And I almost did it. Not because I believe in any of that, but I think it would fulfill a childhood dream of mine if I could actually become a ghostbuster. If I was a real live ghostbuster, you know? <laughs> Like, I'm not going to have the proton back. I'm, I've already made peace with the fact that I will never have a working proton back. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. IU Love Wins All, the music video. What the fuck was that? It's like a random floating Lincoln log. No, it's a cube. Somebody's mini fridge has uh, gained sentience. All right, so we're in some kind of dystopian world here or something. It's definitely Tay. All right, this is not the shirt to be wearing at the end of the world. All right, you want to wear something a little bit warmer. <laughs> you cannot be this styling. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, they're all beat up and such too. They got like scratches in their noses and their faces and everything. But yeah, this is definitely not end of the world attire. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a pile of clothes? Is that a reference to spring day? There's that mini fridge. Fuck, I forgot to hit record. <laughs> Damn it, I'm so bad at this job. I'm so bad at this job. I have one job and it's to hit one fucking button. And like 50% of the time, I forget. All right, let's 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 start over. Let's start this whole thing over. Everybody pretend I just started. Hey everybody, welcome to BTS Sunday. Hi, <laughs> thanks for joining me. This is definitely when I first started the stream. Um, so thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I think there's a ghost in my apartment somewhere. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> the fuck? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm now recording. Thank you. Okay, so this is where we left off. We got a floating mini fridge. They're running through the woods. It doesn't look like there's any other people around here. They're beat up for some reason. It's very ominous, very sci-fi. The mini fridge, yeah. Oh, thank you for all the subs. I appreciate it. I mean, in all honesty, he looks terrified. Yeah, so this is kind of where I, I, I realized I wasn't recording. Is this a reference to spring day? What is this pile of clothes here? That's all I'm thinking of. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Hmm. 
Yeah, he's totally fine. No more scratches. Okay, so far, really, really sweet. I'm enjoying IU's voice here. There's something going on with this video camera. I wonder if it's supposed to be like commentary on how like we all use filters on our phones for like photos on, I don't know, like Facebook or Instagram or something. I wonder if that's what's going on. The song is pretty nice though, too, so far. Some breathy vocals coming from IU, very cinematic. him in the eye. Oh, fuck. She looks legit terrified. Lot of them. Get them on you. I don't know what for. Jeez. One of his eyes is a different color, I think. Sending it. I wonder if this is like like a rapture thing. Oh, and that's their clothes adding to the pile. Yeah, it's gonna be adding to the pile. Yep, for sure. There it is. Well, I mean, I like this song, but I love the acting in this. I don't know if this is part of a rapture. If something was up with V's eye. I think he was blind, and at the end, she was like covering either his good eye or his bad eye, maybe just like to shield him from seeing it, which is really sweet because you know he, she was gonna go and try hit the little mini fridge herself, and then Tay grabbed the thing. And he's like, "No, I'm gonna attack it for you." That that was, that was so sweet, man. All right, let me see what you guys are saying here. All right, acting is top notch. Yeah, okay, I figured you guys would say that. Uh, she covered the eye he can't see with. Oh, fuck. Okay, all right. She must be mute and Tay is blind in one eye. Okay, I kind of noticed that. I know a touch of sign language. Um, and my wife works with people that need to um, communicate that way all the time. So sometimes when she's talking to me, she just does sign language at the same time. It's kind of cute. So I've been picking up on some of it. Okay, so I'm glad I got that. So, okay, so she must be mute or, or deaf. I'm not sure what the right way to say it is. And then he's blind. So they're both kind of damaged in some kind of way. So what was you ugly cry 10 times watching this? She covered his good eyes so he couldn't watch their death coming. Oh my God, this is so dramatic. You know, but I would watch this show. If this was a show, 
starring IU and V, I would 100% watch it. Acting is incredible, absolutely. Like they look, like when they're happy, they look legit happy, like they're in bliss. Uh, but when they're terrified, like you're like, you're kind of afraid a little bit. And the enemy is not that scary, it's just a cube, you know? <laughs> but like, it was kind of freaky. They need a K-drama together. Yeah, exactly, Cabbage, I would totally watch that. Um, It's cute in the middle, yeah, a little photo montage and stuff. Hey, what was up with the video camera? What was going on with that? I thought it was an alien invasion. I mean, yeah, it does kind of read like an alien invasion, like even World, World War of the Worlds, you know, when that laser beam comes and shoots you out, like your clothes just puff in the air and you turn into dust. So it was kind of like that, but they were floating up. You saw it like in the last couple of frames. Is there a behind the scenes? Yeah, I'd love to watch the behind the scenes. If you notice, she was leading him the whole time. So at the end, he decides to take the lead uh, to hit the mini fridge. It was Korean sign language. Why? Well, I think this is food. It's it's pretty universal. I, wait, hold on a second. You're blowing my mind. Is there different sign languages for different languages? Oh, okay. I had no idea that was even a thing. I guess it makes sense. Like the cube is society that's trying to put them in the box, but because they are different, they try to fight out, but they've been beaten in the end. Now, Tessa, that is an interesting, astute observation. Yeah, I mean, they're both damaged in some sort of way, you know, with Ayu being mute and him being half blind and inch. Wow, interesting. Okay, that's a that kind of puts a different spin on everything. Okay, here we go. Zisa Miles got it for me. The video camera represents how love filters the way you see the world. Yeah, at first I thought they were just doing a bunch of commentary and stuff and, and referencing Spring Day somehow or something. And then the camera with the, you know, the, the filters on it. But there's a lot of retro stuff in this. They were throwing v, like VHSs at one point. The restaurant people were not dressed up. Yeah, they were like in some kind of cloaks. It was kind of creepy. Oh, here we go. Uh, the music video director said the cube represents a uh, discrimination against marginalized people in society. Okay, so you were right. The camera is the filter of their love and sees beautiful things despite their surroundings. Actually, let's watch this one more time. Let's watch it one more time and then we'll move on to the next thing. I wanna see it one more time. Because the only way I noticed that V was even blind was because his eye color was a little off. I didn't even know he's blind. I thought he just... I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make you guys cry again. Also, I have another theory. I think this video is shot in the past. All right. I think this is not a, like this year. Look at all the technology, even this like little handheld recorder and stuff. I think this is like early 2000s, possibly late 90s, maybe even earlier. The technology is just all weird in this. <laughs> and does she have a lip piercing? Yeah, it's totally there. She's it, she has one in the video. Maybe it's fake, but Okay, yeah, everybody's in cloaks. They're not dressed up like fancy like they should be. Or perhaps they're just ninjas. Do ninjas fit into this somehow?
which is interesting because they have like black it's it, what it is they've got an actual black sheet over their head i thought it was like a hoodie or something but you, you can't even see their faces Now that's a wedding gown, right? I think they're getting married. Or they're marrying themselves. Metaphor for judgmental society. Okay, so yeah, here you go. These are VHSs. These aren't Blu-rays. I think Blu-rays are retro now. was oddly satisfying you guys ever see those oddly satisfying videos of like stuff that just fits perfectly through something else this cube coming through this doorway with like a millimeter of clearance is oddly satisfying to me very cool yeah, nice. like look at them like on their faces they look legit terrified He finally decides, I'm going to step out. I want to be the man. You've been leading me this whole time, but let me do this thing and protect you. The inevitable happens. It really is good acting. Look at them. That is a great music video. I make fun of music videos all the time for how ridiculous they are, but this reads like a story. It's a five minute drama is what it is. And I would 100% watch that if that was a movie or a TV show or something. Oh, Sachetois.